Hello everyone. In this video, you'll learn brief about CUCM and CUCM deployment models. CUCM means it is a server which processes the calls. For example, in one organization, one employee wants to make a call to another employee. So phone cannot have that much of brain to transfer, make the call between that two phones so the process will done by the call manager cisco unified communications manager can do the call processing not only within the organization outside the organization also so the user wants to make outside calls like a pstn calls if for example employee wants to make a mobile call he wants to call to his mobile number so for that purpose also the call processing will done by the cisco unified communications manager it's also provide some features and also functions not only a call processing so call processing is a main function of the cucm server we can say that one so the features it provides for the um, endpoints like a phone if person wants to put call on hold so it provide that music on hold so if one person is put the call on hold the another person will hear some music or some voice right that actually provide by the cucm server so it's no whenever the person put call on hold it provides the music on hold and also making transferring the calls so if the person wants to call from another person so it can be done by the cucm server and also call park extension mobility expansion mod module call pickup hand group these are all the features which are providing by the cucm server to the end devices and cucm functions the main function we know it is a call processing so CUCM functions are like a call processing, signaling and device control, dial plan administration, phone feature administration, directory services, program interface and external applications, backup and restore. We'll just brief about this one here. Okay. What is call processing? Call processing means it's a controlling like a originating and routing and terminating the call so call processing if i am making a call the call manager will originate at the call and router the call and also it it's only terminate the call so signaling and device control signaling and device control so whenever i am making a call to another person before we are speaking there will be a, some signaling will flow between the devices so that will provided by the CUCM server. Dial plan administration. CUCM will provide different dial plans. So we can add the dial plans that actually done by the admin. Phone feature administration. Phone features administration already I told. It's a whole transfer, extension mobility, expansion module, call pickup, call park and group pickup group these are the phone features which provided by the cucm and directory services it's also provide the directory services and also it we need to authorized people only cucm can allow the calls from the outside to organization and program interface external applications external applications not only a uh, we are using physical phones at organizations to make the calls but CUCM will support external applications to make the voice calls like a CIPC, soft phone, Jabber and IVR for call center setup. So these are the external applications will support by the CUCM and backup and restore. Backup and restore means we have a database right so that database we can if anything disaster comes that time we can backup and restore the database of the CUCM.
so these are the functions of the cucm and a few brief about cucm cisco unified communications manager let's go into the cucm cluster cucm cluster it provides the redundancy redundancy purpose we use the cluster so in case of any network failure or a server failure so that provide the central point of administration so to support the voice calls in cucm cluster all the servers will run on the same version and chase the same database same database means same information in all the servers in the same in the cluster here two types of clusters in cucm one is cluster another one is mega cluster or a super cluster mega cluster and cluster what is difference the main difference here is call processing agents means subscribers so every cluster have only one publisher in cluster and as well as super cluster so the call processing agent subscribers will get change so 16 call processing agents in super cluster and mega cluster or mega cluster in cluster can have only support up to eight call processing agents call processing agents means it process the call other servers in cluster will call like a tftp servers it provide the configuration files and uh, mboh it music on the whole it provide the music on hold when the somebody is put on call on hold so these are the servers which cluster have cluster will support up to 30000 phones super cluster or a mega cluster will support more than 30k phones one server in the cluster will support up to 7500 to 10500 so for getting um super cluster or a mega cluster deployment we need bau approval from cisco account team so next one is the database replication how is happening from publisher to subscribers every time the database replication will happen from publisher to all the subscribers in the cluster so this is how i am just uh, showing this one and next one is few points about cluster every cluster have only one publisher and rest are all called as subscribers or subsequent nodes publisher also called as first node if one server is failure in one cluster the resources of that server will redirect it to the another server in the cluster to process the calls of particular server and configuration only done in the publisher it will reflect it to the all the subscribers in the publish in this cluster and only publisher that needs to synchronize with the ntp we know what is ntp it is provides a local time so publisher needs to synchronize with the ntp server and it is replicated from the publisher to all the subscribers there are four types of cucm cluster deployment models first one is single site next one is multiple site with centralized call processing multiple site with distributed call processing clustering over ip fan so the name itself we know what it really mean so single site first one is single site in single site the the cluster in the cluster all the publishers subscribers will deploy in the single site only so this is the diagram you can see here and uh, the local area network or metropolitan area network are using for to carry the voice traffic or your voice calls throughout this site so the single site have own own cluster all the publishers subscribers at only single site it process calls for only that single site so the LAN or a man will use this for transferring the calls and beyond LAN or a man what will happen it won't use as the van it on it uses the PSTN so for example the person wants to call from one site to another site so the call will not go through the 
van it will go through the pstn van is only using for the data traffic in this scenario only in this single site model this single site model uses for less than 30000 lines or a phones or a endpoints next one is multiple site deployment with centralized call processing model here multiple sites will have but only one site will have the call processing agent or cucm cluster so that cucm cluster will provide the services to the all the phones are which are in the multiple sites so here the voice traffic the calls between these multiple sites will go through across the van wide area network so wide area network will also carry the call control signal call control signal means we all know that it uh, originated terminated or routed the calls so the cucm cluster knows how to do that one so call control signal should be carried from the centralized call processing server cluster to remote remote sites centralized call processing sites to remote sites the call control signal should be passed and also qos needs to be enabled quality of the surface if anything data packets get dropped if anything voice packets get dropped or uh, anything jitter or a delay in the packets the quality of the service will we know with that one what it's exactly how much delay how many packets got dropped how the performance of the network will get to know about from the quality of the service so quality of the service needs to be enabled next one is multi site centralized with distributed call processing so this in this every site have their own call processing so call processing means every site have their own cluster so here no need of call control signal so every cluster have their own call processing agent so no need to call control signal between the multiple sites and but qos needs to be enabled and van will send the voice traffic between these sites and last one is cluster over ip van cluster over ip van itself we can know the name itself we can know that one cluster over ip van so one server at one location another server at another location so cluster have many servers we know that one so one server will deploy at one location another server for example publisher will deploy at one location subscribers will deploy at different locations this is cluster over ip van so van is used for voice traffic carrying and qos needs to be enabled this is the deployment models of cucm and thank you for viewing and please like share and subscribe my channel thank you all bye